Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a little mini bathroom makeover. I have had this Ikea shelf sitting around my house for the last three months now and I was going to return it before all of this stuff happened and Ikea closed. So that was kind of like the spark behind this entire bathroom makeover. I posted this photo on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted to see like a full makeover. So many of you guys said yes, you guys are so excited. So that is what we were doing today. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Without further ado, let's get started with this makeover. I'm so excited to have like a nice functioning space efficient bathroom. So. Let me show you guys what it currently looks like. So, and this is what we have right now. Um, as far as space on the counter, we are very limited. I just got this recently. I'm obsessed with it, but I need more space for it. I need more space on my counters, especially when I'm doing my hair and my makeup and stuff. This just gets so cluttered so quickly. So, over here, I originally had a towel bar. I wish I would have started filming before I threw this shelf up. Uh, but basically, if you guys can kind of see right here, you can see the circles of where the towel bar was. It was just like a regular metal towel bar, like chrome color. Um, that was basically from here to here. So I went and I filled in those holes with um, zip putty, like the wall putty, the stuff that you put on the wall. Um, and then just kind of like filled that in. So now you can't really tell. Um, and then I threw up this shelf from Ikea. So this is just the bamboo shelf that I had had sitting around. Um, so we put that together, threw that on the wall. Um, and then I also threw in this little screw right here, which you guys will see what that is going to be for later. Um, and then moving on to this side of my bathroom, it's super plain and I feel like we are missing out on so much space that we could be using right here for like shelves and stuff. So, um, I went to Target yesterday. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the lighting here. I went to Target yesterday and got an over the counter, over the counter, over the toilet storage thing. So that is what we're going to throw in that wall. And then hopefully that will clear up the countertops a bunch. We'll have a lot more space. So I have my bamboo squatty potty. I have like a nice wicker kind of basket and now the bamboo shelf. So that kind of like ties that all together. And then, oh, this, this is what I want to spray paint. So I have this little thing. It's empty. We got to fill this up. I'm running out of toilet paper over here. <laughs> um, but I have this really old, um, toilet paper holder from, I want to say it was probably like TG Maxx or something. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like kind of resting and like not looking that cute. So we are going to give this a makeover. I'm going to spray paint this probably black to match because I do have a lot of black accents that I'm going to go ahead and throw in like over here and here. You guys will see. Um, but yeah, let's get started with that. Let's spray paint that. Okay, so this is the over the toilet storage um, little space saver that I picked up at Target. It was only $45, so pretty good deal considering I feel like these things can be like $100 or more. Um, so it just kind of looks like that. It's by the brand Threshold. I will try to link everything that I can down below for you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and build this so we can get started with this full bathroom makeover. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. This was actually way easier to build than I kind of felt like it was going to be. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and throw this in there and see how it fits. Okay, this actually fits perfectly with the height because then I can still use the window and throw some stuff on the window frame. 
or the windowsill. So I'm excited and then there's also plenty of room to leave a basket down here which is kind of what I already had going on and then I have room to throw my cooler up there, more stuff up there. All right, I need to attach the safety bar at the bottom though first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Man, working up a sweat installing this thing. It's also like 90 something degrees outside, so it's quite warm today. All right, this is looking good. Uh, the only thing is like, most of my stuff in here is like chrome, and this is more of a satin brushed material. So I think eventually I might spray paint it down the road. I'm not going to do that today because I don't have the spray paint color and that's a lot of work at the moment. I thought this was like bowed, but it's fine. <laughs> now that we have that in, that was the biggest thing. Um, I'll eventually mount it to the wall um, to make sure that it's steady. But let's start decorating. Let's go ahead and start throwing stuff on there and then I'll show you guys how I decorate this side as well. All right, when I was deciding to redo this, I took everything out of the bathroom this morning before I started filming. So this is like collectively everything that I have to throw back in the bathroom. Um, candles, plants from Ikea, a little plant that I ripped apart from Michael's and threw in like a vase that I painted. We have this little photo frame from Ikea with a print that I um, made on PicMonkey and printed out myself. And just some more candles and then my towel and stuff. And then we have the hook that we're going to be using. This is from Anthropology. Yes, I want to say Anthropology. Otherwise, it was from World Market. One or the other. I got this so long ago, I honestly can't remember. I apologize. Um, then I have this random little Buddha. It used to be this blue color and it just didn't match with my vibe. It's supposed to be like one of those essential oils where you burn the candle in the back and the, pour the essential oil up here, but it didn't come with the lid, so the essential oil just essentially dries out and doesn't really work. Um, so now I just want to use it as decor. I got this from a little spiritual shop. That's usually where you can find cute little Buddhas like this or like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Once they open back up, you can always find stuff like that. They might even have some on Amazon, um, but I won't have a link for this one. Um, and then I have this cute little crystal quartz tower, rose quartz. Um, I sell crystals on my online shop. I have I actually sold out of these ones, but I do have crystal wands. I have gorgeous little um, rose quartz like circles like this too. So we have these on my shop. These are gorgeous. And then we also have cute little selenite towers on there. So um, if you guys are looking for some crystals, I do have some on my shop. That's always linked down below. Let's go ahead and gather all this and throw it into my bathroom and I'll show you guys how I do each little part. Okay, so for this corner, since it's super plain and bare, we're gonna go ahead and add that hook and my towel. So this is the hook that I'm adding. I just already put in a screw. Um, I did this part yesterday and then decided to film this for you guys. So we're just gonna throw that on and make sure it's secure since I'm gonna be lifting the towel off quite often, obviously every time I shower. Um, and then I just have a towel that I'm gonna hang on there. It's high enough to where it's not gonna be like on the ground. Um, I could always like scrunch it up if that really bothered me, but I mean, it's fine. It's not on the ground, it's in a good spot. So we have that there. Now we need to throw some decor up on the shelf to complete this. You guys up there, so you can see um, how I decorate this shelf. Let me grab the decor. All right, so for this shelf, I'm gonna keep things pretty light and simple. I don't wanna clutter it too much, and I also don't wanna put a lot of weight on this. It is anchored into the wall, so it's very secure, but it's really only meant for five pounds, so we're not gonna add a bunch of like crazy stuff onto it. First thing that I'm gonna add is this little um, quote in um, this frame. This is a frame that I got from Ikea, and then we're gonna add some greenery. This plant is also from Ikea, so we're just gonna add that so it kinda hangs over nicely. So the plant gives a nice dimension to the shelf so it's not just all kind of flat all the way across. The last thing that I'm gonna add is just this candle that I found at HomeGoods. It just goes with the theme. I'm just gonna add that right there. And now we have like a nice balanced shelf overall. Looks really cute, very simple, very easy. All of this decor is very affordable. Uh, so yeah, that is that completed side. So now we need to tackle what you guys are sitting on. Okay, so the first thing that I want to tackle is removing the skincare fridge from my counter so I can have more room on the counter. That was the main goal of this. Um, so I'm just going to unplug this. 
and move it over. Okay, I think that is gonna work for now. I might eventually end up moving it up there if I need to. Um, but next I want to, I guess I'll show you guys the other decor that I bought for this. So I bought this cute little um, woven basket. This I got at Lowe's, it was like $7. Um, and then when I was at Target yesterday picking this up, I stopped in the dollar section and found um, these cute little vases. These were a dollar each. And then I also found this cute little bowl slash plate to <laughs> throw stuff on. Um, it kind of got chipped and messed up, so I'm a little bummed about that because the guy who bagged it didn't like wrap it up or anything. But I mean, it was $3. It's fine. No one's going to notice except me. So we have that. I got this one. kind of matches the theme of like the green and beige and like neutral tones that we have going on. And then I also picked up this cute little diffuser. This was three to five dollars. Um, I just got the Paradise Palm one. I couldn't really smell what it smelled like because everyone had masks on, so I just kind of guessed and went with it. So I guess we'll see how that smells <laughs> eventually. Um, okay, so I want to keep the basket that I have down here. Um, we just have some baby wipes and then some poopery that I'm going to keep in like this little basket. That way it's hidden and not just like sitting right there. Um, and then in here I also have a bunch of like my extra tampons and stuff. So I'm just going to throw those into this cute little basket to kind of conceal them and hide them nicely. So I'm just going to put all those in there. I'm not too worried about how they look since <laughs> it's all going to be hidden anyways. Um, but this is like the perfect basket to do this with. Okay, so I think we're going to take that. Maybe put it up here so that you can't actually see into it. See all that? I don't know. Maybe so it adds like some dimension on the shelf since we have this giant cooler right here. So then we're going to take these, throw them in the basket to conceal them so it just looks like a nice little handy basket. That looks really cute. Now we have these vases that I can play with. Okay, I'm also just realizing I have a whole bunch of other decor on my bed, so we're going to bring everything in and see what we can play with. I also have an idea for something that I want to put on the top of this, so I might not use this in here, but I might use it on my counter for something. So let me grab the rest of the decor and we'll finish this up. Okay, so I have this diffuser that I got from Pilgrim Collection last year, and I loved this thing. It worked in my room. I saw someone on Instagram have a lamp in their bathroom and I kind of thought it was a cool idea to get like a nice calming kind of light like when you're showering at night. Um, so since I have no other place to put this diffuser, I kind of wanted to see if I could use it in here. So my idea is to have it up here and then I'm going to need to find a place to plug this in. Okay, so we only have a brown extension cord for now. Um, I'll probably swap it out with another one once I can find like a better colored one. Uh, but I'm just going to run it like along my floor and like the floorboards and plug it in outside of my bathroom because that's the only option that I have for now. Okay, so I have it totally concealed running along the corners of that. It works out. I just need to get a white cord. Um, but now we can turn the lamp on and off. Can you can see it. I wonder if you turn the light off if you can see it. Oh, no. oh, there we go. I was going to say, don't tell me it's broken. Uh, you can kind of see it glowing now. So that is going to work out perfectly. I'm going to turn the lamp off, turn this light back on. So it just has a little remote. The other thing that I'm excited about is I can throw on some essential oils while I take my shower. I can throw it in there, give myself like a nice steamy spa shower. I am very excited to have that. I need something in the middle. I think I might do this plant add something but I feel like it needs to be like sitting on something to raise it up a little maybe I'll throw this cute little box in there I think that works so we're gonna have that up there for now I guess you guys can't really see I just realized that so that is what we have going on at the top up there we have the little plant the basket and my lamp so the next project is to fill up this space right here Now we have some greenery at the top here and down here. I might actually add something else in there, a different thing or a different vase. 
let's see what I have. Okay, so I do have these really pretty um, floral pieces that I picked up at Ikea. I feel like this is just too short since we have so much height with the window. I want to see if I can add these into this little mason jar base that I have and see if that adds. I think that is what we we're going to work with. I love this rose quartz. I might just leave it on my counter because it's not like a stable spot right there and I don't want it to fall. We've got a good setup going. If I got some books and put them right here, I feel like that might add more. We're going to try that. Let's find some books. Alright, so I found these two random books that I had laying around. Um, one's a college textbook, one's just like another reading book. I think we're going to take them. I'll probably eventually paint over these like a white and a black one so that it kind of matches better. I'll just find some like acrylic paint to paint over these. But I think we're going to take this to make use of this space a little bit better. Kind of add a little more. the vibe of all of that. I feel like it's really working together, making the best use out of everything that we have. Okay, so now I need to tackle the counter and reorganize the counter and figure out what we can do with this space. Okay, so we have all of this extra greenery, which I don't think I'll use. I'll probably save it for another project somewhere around the house. But I do want to move this makeup bin back over because this is where I originally had it and I like having that extra space here on the counter. There we go. Okay, nope, bin stay. It's fine. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna actually keep this tray right here because I do take my jewelry off a lot and I'll like throw it on the counter somewhere but it's kind of nice that I have this little spot now that way it's like in a tray and I won't have to worry about it like falling anywhere. So I really want my rose quartz crystal. I think we're just gonna add that back there. Okay, this was a complete makeover. It looks so much better. It's gonna look so good. So um, I'm gonna throw this in the corner over here we have some room right back here where I'm going to make it work. Okay, so I just moved my cleaning products and stuff over there to that side. And then this is going to fit nicely just to hold all of the extra toilet paper that we have in here. I'm literally on my last roll, so I'm so glad I found some of that at Target yesterday. All right, um, I'm going to let this dry a little more before I fill it with the toilet paper because I feel like it's not totally dry yet. Um, and I don't want the toilet paper to like get stuck <laughs> on the spray paint. All right, switch to filming on my phone so it'll be a little more stable while I go around and show you guys. But let's go over the completed look of my bathroom. I feel like this has just transformed the space so much. It just looks so like tropical and vibey in here and I love it. So. This is what I came up with for the sink organization. We just have my acrylic drawers. Those are from the container store. Then we have my little dish for my jewelry and my rose quartz crystal hanging out in the back right there. All of the stuff on this side was pretty much the same. Nothing really changed over there. I'm just gonna keep my remote to turn on and off that lamp up there, probably right here, or I might just throw it up like back here. Actually, that's a really good idea. So it's kind of hidden. So I'll just throw that back there so that way I know when I need it, it's right there to turn on and off that. So then moving on to this side, this is such a transformation from the single chrome towel bar that I had. I feel like this just really adds so much to the space. I love everything about this corner. Then popping back over here, I love how this turned out. Everything looks so well. I feel like everything is very balanced. It just makes sense. I went over where everything was from, so if I happen to have missed where something was from, just leave a comment and I will do my best to respond, and I will do my best to link everything that I can for you guys. So that is it for the bathroom makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.